Hi, you guys don't know it, but this is a take two. I have so much time to potentially record things because I cleared space on my phone and I'm covering up the camera. But I don't know what I'm going to talk about. And once again, no one knows that I'm not wearing pants. Ow! Did not just run into something right at penis level. Did not happen. <laughs> Oh, those jumps are not getting any better the longer I try to do them. <sighs> Hello everyone, 12 Gauge Ninja here, with no real good space to put my phone, so I'm going to talk to you all hunched over like this. Also, I am not wearing pants. I could also be lying to you, but I'm not going to prove it. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about. Firefly, what do I talk about? Yeah. Scout? There's nothing to talk about. Uh, oh, that's a lovely angle. Look at this. Got my face, got my office, got my fish. Ah, shit, I need to feed that fish. Uh, ah, fish is fine. You know what's even funnier? Is I'm, uh, I'm wearing this, uh, this sweater. I don't even like Coke. Nope. Don't even like Coke at all. You? Ugh. In truth, I figured we could talk about something happy. I don't know. I don't know. We talk about something. Let's see. Uh, what sort of talk about? Uh, well, today marks the exact year that Donald Trump was elected into the White or was inaugurated into the White House. That's something we could talk about. Yeah, but I mean, that's not fun at all or in any way remotely exciting because, you know, Whatever. Basically, stuff. Everybody always talks about Trump and politics. I don't want to talk about Trump or politics. It's boring. Because it's not exciting. Like, nothing. Nothing that I hear about Trump, like, is surprising at all. Uh, like, the whole, what, the most recent thing is that he, he talked about shithole countries. Like, I'm not surprised. Like, I mean, when somebody told me that, that it happened, I wasn't even like, I was like, oh, he hasn't said that already? Like, it wasn't news. Uh, everybody should know by now that we have a racist, belligerent, stupid president. That shouldn't be news. That should just be daily life for us now. <laughs> because he hasn't been impeached. He hasn't been, uh, you know, reprimanded really for anything besides, like, the American people. But no people of, like, official authority have done anything. And I don't honestly expect anything to happen. I mean, if... If he gets impeached, great, but then, you know, we have a whole other big bag of worms to happen because we don't know what's going to happen with, you know, President Mike Pence, and I just don't know, so I honestly really don't care, but coincidentally, I ended up talking about that, so, uh, go fuck yourselves for making me talk about politics. <laughs> so let's talk about something else. Um, we could talk about, huh, vlogging's hard. Maybe it'll be easier from this angle. This is my good angle, after all. Yeah? Nope. It's not easier. One day I'll start reading poetry again on this channel, and everybody will love it, and it'll be awesome. Yay! But now, now I'm dizzy. Yeah, that's not cool. I used to want to be an astronaut, and then I found out I couldn't handle G-Force in the slightest, and there went my dreams of being smart. So I became what you see today. Yep, I made the right decision. All of my life's choices have been good. There's nothing at all that I regret. <laughs> Seriously though, I'm gonna be super honest. People who do like daily vlogs, they gotta live like live like really interesting lives, which I do not. I uh, I write every day. I hang out with my dogs. I hang out with my wife. Sometimes we go out and hang out with other humans. Those aren't fun days. Other humans want you to talk, want you to say things. Hmm. No, that's not great. <laughs> and look at that to-do list. Really rocking my goals. Oh, look at that. Upload YouTube video. Done. Don't worry about all the other stuff I got to do. It's not important. 
However, I do think I actually have something interesting that I could talk about for at least a couple minutes. And that is that even though I don't have necessarily a super exciting life, it's because I have super exciting writing. And the reason why that is, is because I take things that I think are interesting or unique or fascinating, an idea or something, and then I put it down on paper. Which is why whenever I was young, I uh, wanted to be everything all at once. I, uh, you know, went through like, oh man, I want to be everything from, you know, a space explorer to a police officer to, uh, you know, like a teacher. And then I wanted to be like, you know, an explorer and I wanted to be an astronaut and all those things. But I didn't have the time or the drive to really learn all the super ins and outs of them. But but I could definitely write about all them. See, now that's the exciting part. As a writer, I get to be anything and everything I want to be as long as I'm writing it. And that makes for creative and interesting stories. So even though my life as day to day, some people be like, ooh, your life is boring. My writing, however, is vastly exciting with a myriad of one char one uh, bleh, fun characters and exciting plot lines that are vast, devious, hypnotic, joyful, sad, <laughs> adverbs. Are those adverbs or adjectives? I don't remember. Whoops. I'm a writer. The point of the story being that you don't have to live an exciting, crazy life to be a good writer. You just have to have the ability to open your mind to situations and the ability to understand that the story writes itself and that you are merely the medium for it. That is the important part, and that is what I'm here to tell you. Ah. Am I still recording? Man, you gotta be kidding me. Well, that was a fun wild ride, wasn't it, guys? So yeah, there's a little bit of knowledge. One day I will actually have the ability to tell you stories and uh, make content. But until then, it's a vlog a day of interesting, wild, fun jump cuts like this one. Just, just keep holding it. Just, just keep holding it. I see that you've stumbled into my laboratory where I've just created this right here. It may look like an ordinary dog, but in fact, what it is, is a uh, self-created cute gun. It's very easy to use. You hold it like you would a weapon, you know, right in the haunches. And uh, as you can see, her extra long torso has made uh, it very effective for, you know, the cocking mechanism. And then you just fire it. And then your day is filled with cute things. And... Don't worry, she loves it. That's, uh, that's the video. Gypsy, come here. You need to, you need to be happy. Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? Yeah, you look happy. It's been a total gauge ninja. I gotta get some ideas.